College Success Arizona presents Scholar Interviews. The following interview features Edgar Cruz. I was born in Yuma, Yuma, Arizona. Where did you attend school? In my elementary school, I went to Rancho Viejo first through third, and then from fourth through sixth, I went to Gary Knox. And then middle school, I attended Crane Middle School, and I graduated from Cibola High School. And what are you doing now in terms of college? Where are you attending college, and what is your course of study? Right now, I am attending uh, NAU, Northern Arizona University, at the Yuma branch. My uh, course is Justice Study. And where are you? Are you a junior, a senior? I am a junior. You expect to graduate when? I expect to graduate on the following spring, 20, 2017. And what do you hope to do for a career? I'm pursuing a a career into the U.S. Border Patrol. And why the U.S. Border Patrol? My family, we do like, we go out in the desert, like Yuma is a desert place pretty much, so most of the time we go out riding, and usually I used to see the the Border Patrols out there. So I, I always had some interest, and going gr- growing up and going to school, sometimes the professors would ask us to do a, an explore a career, of some sort. I did a research on Border Patrol, and I kind of got, I was like, oh, that sounds sounds interesting. I think one of the things as I, as right now, as I'm going through the university, that's pretty cool about going in, in any law enforcement field is that mostly every day, it's a different day. It could, you, you're not always doing the same thing. Then I don't see myself being stuck behind a desk job. And Yuma is obviously prime territory for the border, but the border extends from, of course, California all the way uh, to Texas. Are you hoping to work in Yuma, or are you not all that concerned with where you end up? If I stay here in Yuma, it'll be better because I'm with my family, but if I end up up in Texas or part of California, it would be pretty nice to get to uh, uh, see new new uh, environments and meet other people. And how old are you now? I am currently 22. Tell us about your family. How many brothers, how many sisters? Good experience growing up in Yuma, was it? Uh, yes, I, I grew up uh, in a family of four. I have a, I'm the middle one. I have a bigger sister and a smaller brother. I have both parents. Both parents uh, both work out in the agricultural business. So they would, they're out, they would cut lettuce. Well, they've always been hard workers. That's something that kind of motivates me. And that's always something I've kept growing up. Well, not only me, but my brother and my sister. Were they always encouraging you, your parents? Were they always encouraging you to attend college and get an education so maybe you didn't have to work so hard? Uh, yes, definitely. They always supported us to um, go to college. Everything they did was for us to continue to, to go to school, to have a better better education and get a, a career that we would like to go in and not end up working out in the field like them. And Edgar, what would you say are the biggest challenges that you've overcome so far in your life? I think one of the biggest challenges is the language barrier. Even though I, I've, uh, I was born here, growing up, most of uh, what we would speak was Spanish. So I would speak Spanish at, at home and at school well, with, with friends, it would be Spanish. And then once we would go into class, it would be English. So I kind of, the barrier of mixing it up with English would give me a hard time understanding, reading, writing, and, and comprehending the, the teachers. Somewhere in the middle, do they call that Spanglish? Yeah, there you go, Spanglish. <laughs> And at this point, you're in high school. Is this when you learned of College Success Arizona for the first time? I think in middle school, we we had a a presentation about it was called Gear Up, and I still remember to this day. They would tell us that there was this pot of gold if we continued going to school through high school that they would help us go into the career, attend universities, and they would help us out. And as I went to high school, my senior year is when it got really serious about the 
scholarship, and I decided to apply and do all the process. In addition to the scholarship, which provides up to, I believe, $6,000 per school year for educational expenses, there's also mentorship, uh, success advisors provided through College Success Arizona. In your case, uh, your success advisor is Matt Sotelo. How valuable has Matt and all of these success advisors, how value have they, valuable have they been in terms of providing that mentorship and that guidance? Oh, Matt, Matt has been a, a great advisor. I don't think I would consider him as an advisor. I, I would consider him as a good friend. He goes out of, I would say, out of his profession just to make sure that I was doing good. I had some bumps, bumps in college, some bad, bad decisions, and he always... Uh, uh, mentoring me, telling me, giving me um, advice, and to con- and to just focus. Edgar, can you offer some advice for maybe high school students, even middle school students, who are considering college? What would you say to them? If they already have a plan, I mean, go for it. Go through the path you want. It's hard that to pick what you want want to do. So I think if, even going to college will open you to. Um, See what would you like to be, what career you would like to go, and you'll you'll get to meet awesome people and make new friends and hopefully find a, the path you want to go. How has college helped you in the sense of possibly public speaking, being more social? Has it helped you in ways like that? Oh, uh, it, it has tremendously. That's probably one of, one of my uh, worst characteristics. I'm really... Would you say shy to talk in public speaking? So to have Matt even help me in that too has uh, changed me into uh, not only academically work on on my path of school, but also follow other other dreams I have, other goals I have to to even follow that. Can we ask you about what other goals you have? Well, I've been doing other goals besides uh, going in the path of uh, border Patrol, quad riding was one of my things. I always had that thing of actually taking it to the next level of competing. I never really spoke about it because about it, I thought they would make fun of me. But as, uh, as I went through the uh, university and Matt told me to just follow the path you want, it kind of opened me, you know what? I want to go and compete in ATV writing and I I did it a year for a year and now I'm giving the chance to my brother too to follow follow his dream as well which is competing in the ATVs ATVs that's correct that sounds like a lot of fun you go fast in the dirt or the sand right yeah out in, yeah out in the desert pretty much all top of terrain how fast do those machines go at the top end oh uh, <laughs> It doesn't seem a much, but 50 miles going 50 miles out in the desert where it's pretty rocky and they call them whoops. Uh, if you're going pretty fast and you, you don't know how to control yourself, it could cause you to hurt yourself. So, because if you leave the ATV it, at 50 miles per hour, you better have wings, right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Edgar, for the interview and for working so hard to make a difference in our community.